Boy, it looks like it's been out of use for a long time. It's fine. The cement is still fresh, which means I can I can use the crowbar on that. Smash it down. Oh, coward! Never mind. Something sinister. Light. Mm, set fire to everything. Coward! Randomly start fires. Break things! Bet you're more hardcore with your top hat. Up we go. Okay. Plan B then. I have a record. I'm going to try the gramophone. Because this is an adventure game. This is the kind of thing you do. Now there's a record on the gramophone. Creepy. Oh, it's not a lovely sound. The music stopped. Yikes. Hey guys, um... Just, uh... So... The window, was it? I left the window open. Was that, uh... So it's still here then, um... Wow, this makes this kind of awkward, uh... Right then, um... I'm gonna go look for that cat, do excuse me. Seriously, man. Top hat. Fool! Whatever. Right, I've got a crowbar. So, I can now either crowbar the door off, or crowbar the latch. This is my two plans. So, we'll try this first. I'm sure it was ordered up for no particular reason, there's no horrible monster about to unleash, so let's just go for it. For God's sake, what happened here? Um... The writing on the walls reads, Leave me alone. Who would have written such a thing? I assume a man who wished to be left alone. Or a woman, in fact. Anyway, swag on the floor. It's a letter. Dear Margaret, it has been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our servants left a few days ago. Without their help and care, I'm lost. I can barely walk out of bed. Not even the doctor would come here after his argument with Anthony. He has developed this horrible ability to break anyone's will. I don't know what to do. I don't have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter. <laughs> so instead, I threw it on the floor. Hoping that someone would read it at some point later. Okay, what have we got here then? Um... The lifeless body of a woman. Oh, it is a woman. There we go. It's been here a few days. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. <laughs> Yoink. It's fine now. I'm writing what will surely be my final thoughts. My last lines. My last breath. I don't know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger with a look befrid of all of sanity. Compassion and human warmth. I don't know with the shadow that slowly darkened our lives. I don't know that it's foreign host that now dwells within our souls. I don't know where it's from, but I'm sure it's not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters. I'll be free from the abyss of mass and fear. Soon I will stop trembling. Yay! Swag! What's this? A hairpin? Oh, I can totally open windows with this. An old wheelchair. Come on, this isn't the stealing attitude right now, is it? Get stealing. Nothing of interest. Oh, criminal. Uh, anything else we can probably swipe from the dead lady's room? A letter. I can't go on. All is lost. Oh, isn't that nice? It's a diary page. I can't stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I'm not worthy of this family. Who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I don't need you. Leave me alone. Yeah. I feel the same way. Yeah. Silent skeletal. You're not part of this game. No one doesn't love you. It's just you're bony. Yeah. Shh. Right. Let's go through here. Oh, that's like not sinister at all. An adult woman. A woman holding a baby. An odd, severe looking man. A teenage girl. A young man. Oh! What's behind the portrait? Okay. The pesh looks. F the, the f bleh. Can I rub. This will just spread out the paint. Hairpin, scratch it off? No. Okay. Must probably have to come back here at some point then. There's a crow behind the window. It looks like he's trying to get in. Bloody crows. Go join the raven out on the lawn. Swine. No, anyway, dead lady. Window. Hairpin. Window. 
All this to find some food for a cat. I'm just sure it's the cat. I managed to open the latch. Good job. Ooh, a trap door. Exciting. A stuffed lynx. It looks like the one in Anthony's portrait. Can I steal it? No. Ooh, a, a, a hammer. Excellent. Good job. Now what's this? Some torn out pages. They won't bother me anymore. I'm done with their sensuous gazes. Their whispers. It's all ready. There's only one thing left to do. Be mysterious as possible. Is this opening the door? I've unlocked the door. You can open it too. Good. Let's see what we've got here. Thinner. Ah, I'll need that for the uh, other room. Chemicals. Chemicals. Anything in the sink that I can steal? Handwritten notes. That goddamn cat. He meows every night and it's for me. I know it. He's mocking me. He knows my secret. He knows. I won't let him ruin everything. I don't have any choice. I have to put an end to his miserable life. Or better yet, I will make him blind. Nah. You gabby gabby lynx. You won't confess. You wouldn't. Okay. It's a bit weird. Oh. No. It's good. Um, anything else? Oh, what was it? Map of the region with markings. Strange books. What about this up here? We should probably investigate the uh, attic. A golden keyhole. Guess I need the key, but you never know. Give it a quick fondle. No, it's... Uh, there we go. The trap door is locked. I'm... I've got to do something with this lynx. Can I... Can I beat it? <laughs> smash it. I don't want to smash it with a hammer. What about set it on fire? He doesn't want to set it on fire either. Use the paint to then hide. Alright. Fine. Coward. Nope. Just need to go in the room with the uh, dead person. Use the thinner on the painting. That's too much thinner. It would ruin the link. Yes, yes. Alright, we use the cloth with the thinner. Then wet the cloth. Dead. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the painting. Gosh, gosh, no. Not the painting. The thinner has worked. The fresh paint around the lynx's head is gone and now I see the original painting. The lynx is different. Its mouth is open as if it's growling. I'm guessing I have to go fondle the lynx now. Pardon me, lady. Nothing personal. Coming through. Gonna go through. Yep. Yeah, but his mouth is shut. Like it was before I reeled the... Can we, uh, prize his... You don't want to smash it with a hammer. Okay, I need to prize its mouth open somehow. Now, this begins what I like to call the uh, adventure game crawl, where I'm now going to try my hammer in the basement from earlier, and walk past the really awkward crows and have a bit of a conversation with them. You know how it is. Unless I can use my hammer on the door. Nope. I think I used the hammer in the basement, personally. But we shall see. Hey, guys. Um. Just, uh, yeah. Cool. It's this way, wasn't it? Uh, not in here. That was the room with the cat and the rosary. Just when I found this lantern, otherwise this would have been very dark. And I couldn't have seen anything, and it had been basically like Silent Hill. And I would have complained. And then you would have been like, No, Hillary, don't complain. It's true. Anyway, hammer, concrete wall. Do the shit. You don't want to make a mess. Why not? The cement is still fresh. Can we just not smack it? Some firewood. Right, I've got to find some way of getting the lynx's mouth open with what I've got. I mean, I could have just used the hammer to break the lynx's face and find out what's inside. But of course, we've got to find the correct item we need. Which is the problem here. I said I don't have any food. Nor do I have anything I can use here. Okay. Sorry, just checking a few of the doors now to make sure I haven't missed anything. Right, let's go to the kitchen. Maybe the crows are gone now. Aha! There's a crow dying. Oh, can I steal it? Put it in your pocket. Do it. Do it. Yes! I'm very proud of you. A pool of blood. The remains of the banquet. <laughs> I've got a crow in my pocket. I'm guessing I've got to get back round to the cat without going through the room with the crows, otherwise I get mauled. I guess I can't- if I go with that in my pocket, I die, would be my guess. Since all the crows are inside now, and it's kind of awkward. 
Yeah, shh, shh, it's okay, it'll be over soon. I'm gonna feed you to the cat. And the cat's gonna give me a goodie. That's how this works. The crow's in the bowl. So how do I get the cat? So I gotta do anything in particular? Hey, time I open the window, he knows food's waiting for him. Anyway, okay. So maybe I'll just leave and then come back, and I find that the crow's been replaced with the... Uh, Damn it, stupid cat! A tiny dark hole in the wall, can I break it? No. This cat needs to pull his finger out. I've got a dying crow in this bowl. Can I smash it with a hammer? <laughs> I hear a cat meowing in the distance. A lot of meowing going on. Meow. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Where did the crow? Gee, I wonder. Where could the crow have gone? Can we make it bigger? The cat's meow is louder in here. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Please don't be evil. I will. I do have a hammer. And I have a top hat, which means I'm a gentleman. Which means I will beat your head in. Nothing personal, of course, but I've got the suspicion you're evil. Now can we break down this? Yay! On top of a the chest there's a black cat. His eyes are missing. Good God, it almost ripped my eyes out. He's run to the darkness. Ooh, a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. Can I have that, please? Yoink! Only this knife can be useful. Really? There's nothing else? I, I don't want the mask and stuff. Alright. So I lost my hammer and gained a knife. Well, I guess I can use the knife on the... See? The adventure getting cruel. It never fails. I managed to feed the cat and it led me to the victory puzzle. Oh, yeah. Now I just gotta be wary of any uh, crows that may be around the house. No, it's just a scene of murder. What's he say now? The crow is gone. And now we just go through here, upstairs, go along the corridor, as slowly as possible. Here we go. Dead person. Good day. Good day. Nope, wrong room. Sorry. Sorry, my bad. In here. In there. And we're going to use a knife on the links. Which gives me the key, I would assume. Actually, the lynx's mouth open. The tongue has been removed, and there's a golden key instead. Thank you. Use the golden key on there. Now, what will we find in here? Oh, my dead friend. Oh God, no, Anthony, no. Um. Oh, can we fondle him? No, let's look at everything else first. Portrait of Anna. Um. Guess there's no way around the fact I have to look at Anthony. A little bit awkward. We'll just kind of saunter past a second. Nothing else, so we'll have a look at him. The lifeless body of my dear friend. Oh, we can loot him! Neat! What have you got in your pockets, Anthony? A sealed letter. If you're reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body. Oh, very astute. I rate you my last shreds of lucidity. You can't possibly know how pleased I am knowing that you arrived on time. You're one of my oldest friends, and when I sent the letter asking you to come here, I didn't doubt you for one moment that you would. Well, just as well, really, because you're dead, you wouldn't know. Had you failed me this night, everything would be lost. Oh. I found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I have become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. Is there a crow on the window? <laughs> I can't give you any more details now. I must actually go immediately back to the boarding school where we made the pact, where we all said that the sentence would protect us and support honour. Okay. This letter must not reach anyone else, so I'd actually destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group and yours are in great danger. Do not delay. Oh, okay, dokie. Okay. Guys, really? You couldn't wait two minutes. That's a lot of crows. <gasps> the adventure continues in chapter two, which I don't think's out yet. No, whoa, 
Boom. That's it. So, cool. Right then. Um, yeah, so that was the last door in the first chapter. It certainly got my interest. It's... Wow, well, actually, it definitely got my interest. Like, the story's interesting. The mechanics are simple, but standard for an adventure game. It seems fun enough. Um... I assume you guys can actually buy this, or is it free to play? I, I, it says free. Okay, so I guess we just gotta wait for the chapters then. So, well, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little extra video, and, well, until next time, guys. Cheers.